We are being bound up by some false, illusory beauty of this world. Myret. The exact example is myret. What is myret? Reflection of the sunlight on the desert appears like water. Where is water there? There is no water. The animal, thirsty animal, is after the mileage. Oh, here is water, I will be satisfied. Oh. Similarly, we are hankering after, running after the mileage. There is no peace, there is no happiness. Oh. Therefore, we have to divert our attention. Uh, back to God. Don't run after this my race. Just turn back to God. Back to Krishna. That is our propaganda. Don't divert your race. Don't engage your senses in the illusory material beauty. Just apply your senses to Krishna, the real beautiful. That is Krishna consciousness. Go on. Lord Shiva once was in deep meditation, but when the beautiful maid, Parvati, agitated with the sense of pleasure, he agreed to propose, and as a result, Kartikeya was born. Ah, oh, here is Kartikeya present. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hare Krishna, go on. <laughs> When Haridas Thakur was a young devotee of the Lord, he was similarly allured by the incarnation of Maya Devi. Now here is the difference. Lord Shiva, he is uh, uh, the greatest of the demigods. Uh, he was also allured by Parvati and as a result of this attraction, this boy Kastika was born. That was the, what is called, conspiracy of the demigod, that unless one's son is born out of the semina of Lord Shiva, it is impossible to conquer the demons. So Kastikeva is con considered the commander-in-chief of the demigods. Uh, <coughs> but here another example, Haridasa. Haridas Thakur was young boy, uh, at, uh, about twenty, twenty-four years old, and he was chanting Hare Krishna, and the landlord in that village, he was very much envious of Haridas Thakur. He uh, conspired and engaged one prostitute to defy him. So the prostitute and agreed, and at dead of night, a very beautiful dress, and she was young, and tried to captivate Haridas Thakur, but he was not captivated. That is the difference. A Krishna conscious person, even an ordinary person, uh, not in the level of Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma, uh, he is never conquered by Maya. But one who is not full in Krishna consciousness, either he may be Lord Shiva or Lord Brahma, he will be conquered by Maya. What to speak about that? This is the position. Go on. When Haridas Sasu was a young devotee of the Lord, he was similarly allured by the incarnation of Maya Devi. But Haridas easily passed the test because of his unalloyed devotion to Lord Krishna. 
Of this year, the devotee of the Lord learns to hate all material sense enjoyment due to his higher taste for spiritual enjoyment in the association of the Lord. That is the secret of success. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare. 